let's check if we're live uh are we doing the tuning we <laughs> um yes is it tuesday uh, it's tuesday today Dave. it's tuesday oh. uh welcome everyone um let's just wait for a few people to land um uh, hopefully it's 12 30 on a tuesday uh dave literally about two minutes ago walked mm. bang into the door there so i didn't walk you, into the door how many fingers you see i opened the door <laughs> you opened the door face. straight in straight in brilliant yeah. um it's yeah let's just check hit. let's just check we're all good because i haven't seen anyone let's just check literally check we're live because i i hate to say there was any tech issues mm. if you're live though do um just drop in a message that you're here which would be great Sophie Hurst, yeah. Uh, Sophie Hurst, great. I'm just checking we are live on the Facebook page. Um, <laughs> we'll be early. Sophie, are we early? Yeah. Laura Collins, beaten by Sophie. Laura, what are you going to do, beaten mate? Sophie, Sophie, beat you today. Beaten by Sophie. Wow. Dave, we've got our names on the board. Is that, is that so we don't forget? That's, um, yeah, but if you look, I'm under Andy and you're oh, under yeah, Dave. That, you know what? That's what I meant by the billing. Mm, we didn't plan it. Never mind. Right. Okay. You just talk right. I'll, 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 let, I'll let Dave do that. <clears throat> as we um as we wait for, for people to jump on uh, as always yeah if you um if you have arrived today we got mark um <laughs> we got mark sophie and laura at the moment that's it guys this is it this is a one-to-one -one, um kind of feel into it um but yeah if, if anyone else joins do say hello um if, i feel like we're early but i know we're not i fixed it you fixed it well done well done mate well done everyone's clearly busy today um yeah i hope everyone's having an awesome week uh, it's been a bit bit mad here there's a lot lot going on we've had mm. we've got our last trip of the season going out this weekend yeah on friday on friday well, on, yeah on friday and, that, and that's it and then um i'm really looking forward to it actually because um <laughs> i've got to sleep what are you gonna you actually said yeah, actually gonna have some sleep yeah it's really Brilliant. good I'm excited about it <laughs> but um no yeah we've literally got um yeah the last trip going to nepal yes signing it off with an icbc trip um yeah and then that's it then till till the new year uh, yeah it's actually crazy it's been a been a heck of a year um absolutely amazing like even this week so many uh, people again everest base camp um mm. you know so many people reaching the summit of Kili, so many people going to um, to morocco mm. um some people are actually on out there at the moment and it's yeah it's been an, a, an amazing year um you know and it's obviously uh you're getting to that sort of time of the year now isn't it and it's uh you know you're kind of four o'clock you start seeing that the, the, darkness creeps in and you're like cozy behind a fire it's quite a nice time of the year isn't it i hate it <laughs> i absolutely wow, I, I, I love the summer huh? i have no time at all for this darkness um you know because you can't i, I like to wake up when it's bright i like <laughs> it to be bright at nine o'clock yeah the, me and my dad are the same we were both complaining about it yesterday saying like oh god but it's all right i'm going to morocco in a week yeah that's right you got so, a tube can, yeah, yeah tube yeah. Can, um forgot about that yeah on the first is that next week yeah i suppose i better pack i think you better um, pack was well, a good yeah, job actually but, but before you pack mm, what are we going to talk about well we're going to talk about what you can pack um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so no um in Brilliant. case any of you um i mean there might be one or two of you that haven't discovered the internet um you know i'm thinking you know bri bri yeah um anyway but if you are on the internet you will have noticed that you're being bombarded with black friday deals if you're anything like yes. me as well the you know the internet algorithms are working and on your facebook feed it's nothing but like console day doors go outdoors tiso and all of those types of things so we're going to talk about what sort of stocking fillers can uh can our ever trekkers ask for exactly um and i've got my so we've gone five each haven't we we've got five each. hence the list is that hence the list um well yeah dave this, we, we were talking you know a few different things and obviously with the equipment you know there, there's some really important stuff that you need for a trip yeah and there's some kind of ancillary stuff you know the things that you you could take mm -hmm. um now the ones we, we talk about today you you know not you don't have to take these are optional but I, you know we always if you're on a, a trek for a considerable amount of time the things that we're talking about today you know might be important to you so definitely uh, you know the, without giving too much away there's a couple of interesting ones dave you brought some props you're organized i, I bought props yeah well because like because because these are this is not so much as my uh it's my everyday carry I'm liking that. I'm liking the book you've chose as well. Yeah, yeah. Is um is that known to be a fellow Yetis? Uh, yeah, it's not mine. <laughs> actually, it's a, it's actually, a good book though. It's a good actually, book. two of the things that I have are not mine. Brilliant. Yeah, that's one of them, a good point. Actually, well, one of them's yours. But anyway, <laughs> but this is an everyday carry it stuff is. that um and you know we're not talking about the big items because we could easily say yeah get some boots you know get one of these. Oh, I was going to say I'm waiting. Wait. 
good job that did fall. Get one of these. Uh, get one of these. Is that is that expensive? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, and breathe. It's Hold my breath. breath. What fell on the floor? I don't know. I don't know. Something fell. Oh, on it's the a medal. Oh. Yeah, but no, we're talking, about, we're talking about the little things, the stocking fillers, <laughs> things that perhaps won't break the bank. I mean, nothing trekking is that cheap. We're not talking, yeah. this isn't Secret Santa, we're not talking a £10 limit, but we're talking things that could fit in a yeah. um, in a stocking. And I've got five, you've got five, together that's ten. That should make plenty of, uh, you know, gift requests, stocking fillers for all of you guys. And they will yeah. 100% come in handy if you go to high altitude or whether you go to the Brecker Beacons or Scotland or the Lake District or whether you're just training around the streets um in your local flatland exactly um and talking about training and training around the streets we actually um as part of the summit zone um uh, what was it yesterday uh we caught up with um some of the uh, the, the members of that it was actually really good <clears throat> just working on their trip preparation um you know similar to if you haven't been on a training weekend you know we always like to sort of work closely with sort of other trackers in terms of their, their plans and it was great yesterday to have the first one um you know first we were one a month now um, yeah, if you're not in the summit zone, just to sort of push that out there, it has been really good. Um, really enjoyed it, Dave. Sorry, Dave, I've just <laughs> had an idea. Okay. I think one of the things you need is in here somewhere. All right. Are you sure? There's this thing. Because I've tidied that. No, <laughs> it's not there. I think I know where it is, though. I think it might be in Jen's room. But never mind. It's okay, Dave. Never it's okay. mind. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. Because we'll I saw it. it not so long ago. I'm certain I did. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We can talk doesn't about matter. it. They all know what that one is, anyway, don't they? Hopefully um but yeah we had some um newbies joints we've got paula brewer we've got stuart taylor great stuff and marky v's on as well welcome back from sierra leone nice to see marky v back um he gets a bit, didn't he? He does get about a bit yes yeah. so i saw him in london he travels, believe you know? it or not <laughs> we did we could we were great to catch up with mark uh, and sandra as well his, his lovely wife so yeah we uh, we caught up and discussed many things uh obviously one of them being the mountains and altitude um and obviously the tuesday tune in as well so it's uh yeah it's been it's yeah. been brilliant it was great because um, i remember the one thing sandra said to me she was like mark he, he dips in and out but sandra's watched every single one of our tuesday <laughs> tune ins hasn't missed one um yeah and she says like she has to encourage mark come on just tune in you know and stuff like that so yeah love it mm. right thinking about it sip of sorry uh yeah big, a big big sip of coffee um where should we start do you want, do you want to go first dave yeah, so uh, hang on. Am I going to list yours or are you going to list mine? Because uh, I reckon if I'm going first, you should I'll tell list you what, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll sort it. Move, move up a bit. Yeah, a there's your, there's your, there's Come your, on then, Dave. There's your pen. Come on, okay, so I'll list my five this. and then we'll swap. Okay. So I'm good. I'm kind of like Richard Whiteley right now and you're like Carol Vorderman. Is that what Where it is? do I have to go? I'll say, well, I'll go over here. Yeah, okay. So there we is, Does that work? Yeah, yeah, as, you, as you can tell, we put a lot of prep into this. <laughs> So my first thing that I've come up with, and um, this is the item that I'm going to hang it is Ooh. sunglasses. These nice. are great. Um, they've got like a little faux wood thing on the side. They're from a brand called Sun God, and they do a lot of um, stuff for like skiing and things like that. Okay. So they're actually really good for the snow. Yeah. Um, I was going to get a set of Jublos, um, but they're quite expensive. You look at <laughs> well over £100. How much were they? Um, these were, I think, 80 nice and they're a really really good polarized lens on here yeah. as well and um you know they look bad they look they look they're pretty cool you, definitely you they, they definitely don't you they don't have like the side protector there but i don't worry about that too much <laughs> but they're really good in the snow i find really really good Ooh, um i hope we're still live are we still live that's the question because our chat has just disappeared yeah so um, I'm, I'm coming back in to, to, to yeah, do yeah. The tech. dive back in for the tech maybe maybe the girls can tell us yeah that's weird lighting have a little look hopefully we're, we're live. live yeah we're still live that's weird that the chat's gone isn't yeah it? i'm going to try and bring that back because it'd be good to see who's chatting yeah because we can't see the chat can we without the live? um let's have a look continue with google why has it done this it's never done this before no it hasn't uh, so yeah so anyway i'll talk more about these yeah just a little brand called sun god um i know what a lot of you are thinking well he's changed from jublos is he sponsored by sun god no i'm not i'd <laughs> like him to be so maybe if i do this a lot you know yeah these are, <laughs> you know these are pretty cool but actually no they're really good they're good um yeah they're polarized they're really good for the snow um you know it takes a lot of glare and, and a lot of the pain off the eyes and things like that so yeah highly recommend a set of sunglasses doesn't have to be these i've only put these on the list because they're a lot cheaper than a lot of the other jublos they're actually cheaper ones again yeah i tend to go not too cheap with them because the lenses don't tend to be a great quality yeah um so yeah i um 
I really like these. Well, look, I think we've, we've got some tech issues and we can't see the chat. So literally, I'm just bringing up the live. It was a bit weird watching yourself. Uh, we've got Andrew Scott on here as well. We've got Steve Hobson. And we've got Emily Cathill as well, just landed from Nepal. Oh, mate, welcome welcome back. Yeah. Um, and Mark oh, Lisa, Emily, yeah. hopefully you're doing well as well. Yeah, um, yeah I think you had an, <laughs> a pretty, uh, I think you managed to squeeze the adventure out of adventure travel. But uh, Emily, honestly, seriously hope you're okay. And yes. um, yeah, back in the UK looking after the horses. Um, okay, my second most important item, not from the sun gods. Sun god, please, from Rocks Alive. <laughs> what's, yeah. the, what's number two, Dan? What's years number two? Time with Mingles? Um, Second one is headphones. Oh, headphones. These oh, are uh, like the Apple AirPods that I use. Um, I, I, honestly, I don't know if these actually are the best ones you can take because on another trip, I did have yeah. a set of, um, I can't remember the name now. But anyway, but they were really, really good. And they were like waterproof and sweat resistant and things like that. Yeah. These are good because they have some sort of sound uh, blocking. You mean um, the, um, uh, so you, yeah, uh, what do, noise cancellation. Noise cancellation. So yeah, I yeah. sleep with these in my ears like every night. Wow. Um, and I travel <clears> with <throat> them. And, you know, when you're doing long journeys on cars and things like that, that's what I'll do. Um, so, yeah, 100% recommend these as well. Very important, especially if you're sleeping with someone who's um, known to be a snorer. You know, that's <laughs> well, it's, a good, it's a good job. I've got my home. Yeah. Because um, there's someone in this room. Is that very? Yeah. It's a bit of a yang. I'm going to try one more time, man. Oh, nice. Let's hey, we're back. back. We're back. Finally. We're That's back. Weird, eh? Yeah. Um, but, um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going anyway. It's good to, for it to yeah. have there. Um, so, is that a good to live on my tip for Viche Rescue? Oh, no. Yeah. You have to tell us all about that, Emily. Yeah, uh, honestly. Amy Brimble as well. Um, my first Tuesday tune in to make it to EBC. We're still reading on the phone. Yeah, it's, uh, that, that'll update. Oh, it's that'll just update. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little bit behind. Awesome. Right, awesome. Dave, number three. What's yeah, number three? number three, which I've got, and I put it on the list because I recently had to borrow this, okay. is a spare GoPro battery. Spare? A spare. Okay. Because they don't last very long, yeah. especially in the cold. And the GoPro that I bought only came with one. Um, and these, again, nice little stocking filler, very small, fit in a stocking, not too expensive. Um, but I've, this is actually Andy's because um, I'm going to because I'm going to <laughs> Tube Pal, yeah, going to Tube Pal <laughs> next week, and I come in here as you can tell with all the camera stuff. But I'm like, if I need something techy, I come in. I'm like, Andy, you got a GoPro battery? And he's like, there you go, mate. So um, yeah, make sure you charge it up then. Um, that does need to be charged. Yeah. So this is yeah, I, yeah, I'll charge it. Yeah. But th this is another thing, really important. Um, I'm not one, am I, for a lot of content creation? You know, I I, I do a little bit, but no, I mate, you're good. I mean, but, you usually say. And I'll use your pictures, but I think lately you've got more into it. Yeah, well, this trip, um, because I'm going back um, yeah. to try and take on a peak that I, you know, turned around on, yeah. I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a diary and things like that. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about what it means to me to be back and stuff like that. So, yeah, these are really good. <laughs> I just read it, Emily. I did make it a bit base camp, by the way. Of course you did. Um, awesome. Uh, then to the Irish pub. Awesome. Of course. Of course. Awesome. Colin, have to do it. Colin Fridges here. Hey, well. hey, 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 Colin. How's, how's it going, Colin? Guys? Um, he's a, he, he, he knows a thing or two about cameras and batteries. I think he does. Like he's he a, does. He, I, it's literally, we, it's like Law of Attraction. We, we mention cameras and Colin just gravitates to the Tuesday tuner. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> um, uh, right. So we got three then. So we got some good ones. Andrew there. Scott kept my batteries warm and an Al Capone style armpit holster. <laughs> it worked. Right, I like it. Right. I like it. So um, okay, the yeah. other thing that I'm going to mention is um i know a lot of people have phones and things like that but i was watching one of our fellow ever trekkers zach the other yeah. day and i was like that's really cool what he's doing and what he's got is quite a cool looking journal yeah um it's like leather bound it's got kind of like lots of different pages he uses it for work so i'm not too worried about like sharing his inner thoughts um you know, I know. Some, some, something about a time scale on the back but anyway this is really <laughs> cool and i was watching him use this the other day and he gets it out and he writes in it in meetings and yeah. stuff he's, he's a very traditional guy zach so a lot of his stuff is cool um and i was looking at this and i thought that'd be great to have on a trip what it kind of looks cool it makes you look very sophisticated you know as you're jotting down your thoughts and stuff like that but now it's, it's something very early days when i used to travel um i, I blog a little bit more now but this a journal is amazing just just you i think when you're traveling sometimes you actually forget some of the the key parts and sometimes even at the end of the day if you just write down a few notes um you know it just it just it stays there um because yeah. when you especially if you're traveling a lot sometimes it can kind of blend into one and it's good to have those memories and uh, look back on i think max actually a good friend of mine uh, we went backpacking in 2004 and literally yesterday he sent me um, a little image of the two journals he had when he went traveling 
and there were some stories in there <laughs> definitely you know even um, yeah. on, like 18 years ago and it's just great just to look back at those memories maggie v's asked me how heavy the diary is you say that uh, oh that's substantial yeah i think half a kilo uh, less even a little bit less i think in a bottle of water that's is a less liter. than a bag of sugar that is less than a bag of sugar less, less than a bag yeah of sugar. so less than a bag of sugar um yeah but i actually think this is this is really cool you know it's like a nice little uh you any know. journalist it's just fantastic yeah. isn't and uh, it? i just really liked the look of it the other day you know the kind of like traditional side of it and you know what you could literally just write down thoughts highlights of the day and stuff and i actually think that'd be really cool as a souvenir for someone i'm thinking that you know if you went on a trip and you filled this with like thoughts ideas of your not yeah. just your one trip but your whole life traveling and imagine like gifting that to a son to inspire them or a daughter to inspire them Brilliant. to do it. Love it I just thought it was a really cool idea. You yeah, know, yeah. not after nice. I have those deep and meaningfuls, but yeah, I did see that the other day. And so um, number five, then. My... I'm expecting something big here, Dave. Yeah, something huge. It's this. <laughs> um, this lives on my keys the whole time. In fact, I took it off my keys in, that, in order to show you. Um, this is a little Vitoranox nail clipper that I always have with me. Um, if you're going on a long trip and stuff like that with a lot yeah. of uh, ascent and descent, these things help you stop losing toenails, back, fingernails. They're also really good, um, you know, for getting rid of like little things you might need to snip off or nice. something like that. These are brilliant. Honestly, these are great. Uh, I was just literally chatting to Fia about this because I bought Fia a set of these. Yeah. Um, when she wanted, to, I think she wanted to borrow mine or something. So I bought her these and she said it's one of the best gifts she's ever had. Um, real small, sits on your keys, never have to think about it. It just lives there and, you know, it's gone back on now. Yeah, nice, mate. Nice. Marky V's. Popping in, you have to leave his Harry bows behind. I know, sacrifice. There you go. It is, it is find that balance, isn't it, between kind of what you need and, and, and you can have every every single thing under the sun. Yeah. Andrew Scott, I've got six trekking journals. Love you to look at years down the road. You just need to keep the details topped up. Yeah, I, I remember that. It used to be sometimes if you get caught up in traveling and you forget for like three or four days, like, oh, geez, I've got to go back. Yeah. And then by a week's gone by, you're like, oh, my God, i got like a whole week. Sometimes I think even if, you know, you're out late or it's been a long day, just write in some notes for the day. You can always go back to it, but at least you've got the key details. Yeah. Just, yeah, if you have a journal in, um, it's quite a, yeah. quite, a, quite a cool thing I'm to gonna do. do I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask Zach where he got that from. Um, well, Christmas is coming, mate. So. And I'm going yeah. to get one, 100%. <laughs> um, right, it's on me. I'm going to hand them over. Where's, where's, the, where's the pen? Uh, here it is. The pen of justice. The pen uh, of justice. I hope so, because uh, earlier on, I actually... There's, 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 there's a nice handy chair in the way. Of you can... Time. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, Dave. Well, so, I'll, try and, I'll try and move over a bit. There we go. There we go. So I can, I can like, lean in. I haven't got as many um, uh, props as you, Dave. That's all right. But I've got one you've prop. Got, no, you've got more. You've got, you've got, I've got a couple of props. I can see. I've got, I got a couple here. The first one is going to be something that keeps your head warm. Uh, this not this hat this uh, nice little gift nice little birthday present off day this was is the beanie oh that smells nepalese <laughs> do you want is... to know why do you want to know why is that when it came over with that uh it, it, with the know, jackets yeah we had some stuff that came yeah. in the jackets i think to keep them fresh that beanie has sat on top of them so it, that's, <laughs> it's, it's quite that's it's amazing little, honest, smell. It's a little too nepalese i think that, that is amazing yeah, but for you that's normal for us that's like <laughs> don't forget i i can't smell that often so it's quite interesting when i can but yeah, a beanie, um, very important. I think anyone that's going to any, you know, mountainous area, you've got to look after your head. Uh, you lose a lot of heat for your head. Um, you know, you've got to look after it. So definitely, a beanie is is so important. Yeah, and it perfectly fits in a stocking too, doesn't it? You know, it goes it goes in. You yeah, know, happy day. So a beanie. I've written beanie slash sherpa hat. I think that's sherpa style. It is, isn't it? That is kind of separate. I've, I've, yeah, I've got I've got one at home. If you've ever been on the in the Everest region and in Namche, they've got some little. Um, uh, little shops there where you can you can get kind of really traditional yak wool um kind of beanie or, or nepalese hat with the, the little sort of dangly bits which is quite cool yeah. very um very nepalese um the next one <clears throat> i wasn't actually this wasn't on my list but <clears throat> as i as i came across it i was like actually this is perfect for um a stocking filler which is a universal power adapter wow. so this one is bears um off amazon only about under 15 pounds so it's quite good probably in black friday you could probably get that under a tenner and this is it's a godsend if you go into different countries and instead of having all the different you know power adapters this has got them all as you can see it's got every everything under the sun there it's got some usbs um it's very 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 handy um very underutilized uh, honestly this has saved me a few times um yeah, so highly recommend that. Bez is the is the make. I've had this for probably about five six years. I've seen that still going around a lot. 
it's been a while, mate. I, well, I'll get, I'll get my money's worth out of that. It's been <laughs> yeah. been around for years. Um, so that would be number two. Yeah, got number two. I think we'll take a picture of this board afterwards, shall we? Yeah. And I'll post it in the group. Sounds good, Dave. Sounds yeah, good. I'll post it in the group. Um, now the next one I haven't got on me, but the is very important because if you go in on a uh, tube cal, if uh, in 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 kind of any time of year, if you go in a killy any time of year, uh, if you go to Everest Base Camp um, and you fancy climbing Kalapatar, you're going to need a head torch. So I recommend the uh, the Petzl Tika 300 lumens torch, about 29 pounds at the moment. Cotswold Outdoors, obviously with your your Cotswold Outdoor discount, and that is a great torch, obviously great size to put into a stocking filler uh, yeah. as a stocking filler and you know you'll, you'll be using it a lot of the time um so we were chatting with some of the uh, people in the summit zone yesterday um two of them were going to kilimanjaro and we, we talked about you know doing a night hike getting getting used to hiking through the night because um, sometimes that can be the big challenge on Killy. um and yeah obviously for that you need a head torch so why not yeah um great little great little uh little stocking filler um my next one is actually something I, I was speaking to fee about um and i don't know if anyone's heard of a thousand mile socks ever heard of those dave yeah my dad uh recommended a pair to me the other day okay i don't know much about them and i've not tried them mm. but i have heard of thousand mile socks and it's a bold claim it's a very bold claim isn't it but they um actually just speaking to fee because i was asking look if you could you know she went to peru um, in September, and I said, out of all the bits there, what would you use a stocking filler? And actually, we came down. She actually said, head torch. <laughs> um, some of the others are on the list, uh, but a thousand mile socks is something she recommended, and I thought, right, we'll put that on the list today, because um, they're yeah, I, I've not used them per uh, personally, um, but you know, what would be Christmas or Black Friday about buying some socks? Yeah. So yeah, if you're looking to get any trekking socks, there's there's loads out there. Uh, oh, we got Paula Reed on as well. Hey Paula, how you doing? Our die Fizzbark is on as well. Hey, hope you're okay. Hey, die. And Bri Bri. Sorry, I'm just, we haven't got a usual chat. For some reason, that's down. So I'm going literally I know. You off could, the line. You could <laughs> risk pressing refresh, but who knows what that might be. No, I, I think yeah. that's too risky. It's, uh, we, we, we can survive. Yeah. Um, no problem at all. But anyway, the, these socks, so any any form of sock, you know, you've got Smart Wool, um, you know, you've got Bridgedale socks. You, you know, most of them are Merino wool based. Um, actually, a thousand mile socks are not Merino wool. Their um, their own kind of brand of material. I think it's um, a lot of it is uh, it's nylon. I think it's about fifty percent nylon. So they're quite um, uh, because they've got some other kind of flexible material. Um, they are quite cozy socks apparently. So yeah, thousand mile socks. I think would be a nice addition for for Christmas this year. Happy days. Um, right, my last one. I'm, you know what? I was torn. Yeah, you've got two there on the list. You can pick. You know what? I'm gonna go for anchor i'm gonna go for power bank i think so you're going with anchor power bank instead of the montane prism gloves that you have <laughs> which are 45 pounds give or take and they're actually like little down jackets for your hands and they are this big they're really good but we're not going to recommend that one. oh i go number six on your list yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly yeah. no i think you know in this day and age you know a lot of people want to capture memories don't they, they want to you know they got their phones uh we talked about gopros earlier um but the anchor power bank um, for me is over the last four or five years, ever since they've started really, have been amazing. Um, and the, the one I actually use is called the Power Core, the Power Core Plus. They're not cheap. They're at least a hundred pounds oh, because the beast, isn't it? it's the beast, but it's also because of how fast it charges. Um, so if you can afford it, get the Power Core Plus. If you want to go something a little cheaper, there are anchor power banks between 20 to 50 pounds. Yeah. But they, if, certainly for me, they are priceless. If, you know, if you've got a phone, if you've got anything that you want to charge, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. And, you know, I take one and generally like just the most recent trip for me was Machu Picchu. Um, you know, you're out, uh, you know, I, I say away from electricity for like five days, six days or intermittent electricity. And it covers you for your phone, you know, your, your, your GoPro, everything. So especially with the Power Core Plus, because it has USB-C in there as well. Uh, most of them are just USB, <clears throat> but the USB-C is like supercharged. So, yeah, if you want to charge something really quickly, that's the yeah. one. Funny enough, you know, the first time that's I ever one. seen someone using a power bank, they never even occurred to me. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was yeah. in around September 2016. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was October 2016. It was the week before I was going to base camp. Me, you and Billy trekking, right. in, trekking to see the bomber at Danarogoff yeah. in Brecon. 
and we got to the pub after the hike it was a real wet day mm. and all of a sudden he pulls out this little didgeridoo and plugs his phone into it and i'm like what's that he's like oh yeah just charges your phone and i was like <laughs> brilliant so i immediately went online and like yeah. uh and, and bought one for my upcoming trip i'm just uh diane's in for Riche. we got a base camp yesterday some of us went calipatar amazing oh huge congratulations diane i know so, you you booked that trip in 2018 so congratulations mate calipatar to Perice. so she's, she's, been, she's had an easy day <laughs> I, imagine she's kicking I was gonna back. say she, she couldn't risk it she couldn't help it because what is it there it's probably more or less six o'clock six p.m at the moment i'm just trying to work out the the, the time difference you know what's funny i got a find a video on my facebook the other day of yeah. us having a snowball fight at Ferrice. really yeah i found it on my phone when was that 2019 2019 Amazing. april and um oh, that was brilliant yeah it's all fun and games until you remember you're at four thousand <laughs> uh and then it's quite tiring meters and then the next thing you know it's like yeah yeah struggling amazing but look um just going through those i mean you know stocking fillers nice and easy wins aren't they any of those you can use on a trip yeah and there's so many different things you know dave mentioned gloves um you know there's there's many different things you could you could look to buy um you know obviously some things fit into a stocking some things don't but definitely there's um there's heaps out there i think if you went with those you wouldn't go far wrong obviously there's all the the other uh, bits of important equipment as well <laughs> you just try to catch up who's that Laura, Dave, I hear you no longer use the Mandel Boutans. Yeah, I've moved. <sighs> Can't believe it. I've been on a roller coaster the last uh, say, couple of weeks, I'll be since, honest with you. Since we've started the Tuesday tune in, how many? You, you've not used any other boot. As in, you have your good but, point, good point, but now you've, you've completely changed. Honestly, I love the Mandels. I really yeah. do. Um, they've always been a little bit too tight for me. Okay. And I'm not sure what exactly has happened. Maybe my foot has spread, but lately they seem to be then I've never got a blister. And when I'm walking, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't really notice it. Yeah. But it's that putting them on, that initial like ah, they feel a bit tight. So what I decided to do was get a set of from their comfort fit range, okay. which are called I think the Adamellos. Yeah. I'm keeping them. Um, but they are they are proper big burly beast beast boots <laughs> and uh and i was like wow that that that's a lot so what i decided to do then was get the uh, find them now. uh yeah i'll get a lighter set <laughs> and i'll show you i've stuck i've stuck with mingle okay um but i've gone for instead uh i'll see if i can eat that's okay. a lot of mingles Dave. that's a lot of mingles um I are these the what are they the ones that you've um they are wider because you use them what was it the training weekend recently right um was that them when you used them? Uh, yeah, but the, but I didn't mm. actually. So what I've done is I've ordered that's it, the Tanale. Um, it's quite hard to get a good picture of them actually. Is that on Cotswolds? Yeah, on Cotswolds. Nice. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, use the Dixie. They're called Mandel Tanale GTX. Um, they're not a leather boot anymore. They're a um, it's like a synthetic one, Gore-Tex boot. So GTX, are they? Yeah. yeah they're and uh, I tell you what happened was <clears throat> Zach. I recommended Mandel Boutans to Zach. Yeah. He went and tried them on and, and he messaged me and said, oh, they're a bit tight. So I bought these ones. Yeah. And when I saw him, I was like, hang on a minute. They, <laughs> they, if the Mandels were a bit tight and these ones work fine for you, then maybe they will for me. So I bought them as well. And yes. uh, yeah, they're much lighter, much easier to wear. So I'm going to I'm gonna wear them to come. Nice. Yeah. And my other ones I'm going to keep for winter. Do you want to tell you what? I'm looking forward to the feedback now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blisters or no blisters. Yeah, exactly. I've... um. Yeah, but I'm taking the uh, I'm taking like the other ones I'm going to keep, and they're going to be like my winter my winter boots. <laughs> Just reading Laura's. I practically live in the boot section in my work. I'll check out these boots online. Yeah, definitely. Want to want to hear you get on with that, Laura. Um, Namaste, trekkers from Joel. <clears throat> How you doing, Joel? Good to hear from you, mate. Yeah, how's um, it going, dude. Andrew Scott dropped down from Mandels to Brasher boots. The Mandels are a bit heavy. Yeah, you know what? They certainly whenever I go on a trek abroad, my Mandels come with me. I've I'm used to it now, even though they are big and they are a bit, you know, a bit clumpy. Um, I'm kind of, I feel used to them. So even in the UK now, I use my Mandels. So um, they're brilliant. That's okay. the Tanale that I've ordered. So you can see those boots there. Yeah, very nice. So very nice looking. Oh, they got like that wire support. Yeah. And what's really interesting um, yeah. is there's like a bit of what, like the lace attached to like the, 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 the eyelet, yeah. which is attached to a little bit of thin wire very similar to what you get on like a boa system okay but it doesn't tighten the boot but it, it tightens around the, the ankle without cutting in so yeah really good and i'm going to use them on uh, i'm going to use them on tuka nice 
exciting. Yeah. Looking forward to hearing about that. Oh yeah, Steve, I'm using those. I, I'll be honest, Steve. Right, I'm a okay. I'm bringing two pairs of boots to Tupcal. Okay, those ones I'm going to trek in. Now you don't have to do this, by the way, because yeah. you can climb Tupcal in um, C1 crampons. Yeah. Um, but I've got a pair of uh, La Sportivas um, that I'm going to wear. Nice. And I'm going to just bring them and sacrifice space elsewhere. It's weird. I'm using my mouse because I'm thinking that the comments are there. Whereas <laughs> actually it's on my phone. Yeah. So um, there's the last but the there's the last Sportivas that I have. Um, and if you look at the back of the boot, you can see that there's like the welt there for the C2 nice. crampons that I own. It just means I can use my own crampons and my own boots. Yeah. It's handy, isn't it? I mean, you don't have to. You can use the um, uh, the ones from the team out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, Sophie Hurst is going to need some new boots for Killy. The North Face Hedgehogs are too tight. Got them wet in Svalbard. That, that trip looked epic, by the way. Um, yeah, North Face Hedgehogs, you know, the first three, two times? The first three times, two or three times, I use them go to Everest Base Camp. Um, you know, and yeah, on Killy, I did use my main dolls. But honestly, the North Face Hedgehogs, very reliable. Very reliable. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, and Paula just booked up to Gokyo Lakes. Yeah, Paula did Killy earlier this year. She's onto it in November. Do you need crampons that time of year? Um, no, with, with the Chola Pass, because when you go to Gokyo Lakes, you go over Chola Pass, drop over to the Kumbu. Um, most of the time, even in November, you don't need crampons. Um, sometimes the, the guides will, the guides carry um, uh, essentially like, uh, you know, the these well, micro yak, yak tracks they used to be called yeah they? that was a brand wasn't it they're, they're like micro spikes essentially just in case because it can be a little bit slippery um but not full-on crampons um they're more the ones that just basically kind of almost have a bit of elasticated rubber um and go over and then just provides so you got spikes on the bottom here yeah keep there honestly they're they're, they're they're perfect for that terrain if needed sometimes depends on the snowfall you might not need them um but sometimes you you will but the, the guides have got that puller um yeah unless you obviously you can take your own but just saving on on weight um yeah just just um a bit easier yeah especially with your hand wags yeah because i think they're not crampon compatible um steve yeah you're doing troop car this weekend or next weekend isn't it next, so yeah i arrive in morocco on yeah. the first i think it's the first first the seventh. you know what i'm like with flight details <laughs> and um yeah and then we head to imlil on the second yeah so summer in on the third nice exciting um, yeah no it's really dave exciting. you're gonna smash it this time aren't you? you're gonna you're gonna yeah there. by smash it you mean my other knee right <laughs> <laughs> okay right you're gonna be safe yeah like, yeah no downhill mountain biking all right <laughs> um no no yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try and well i'm i'm going to ride on saturday but i'll take it easy <sighs> oh the week before yeah the nah, week mate, before you'll yeah. be, 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 be fine um um just some some questions uh i think this is from obviously we, we have the email as well uh i think louise walker I wear glasses so i have prescription sunglasses would these be okay i don't think sun god do prescription lenses if i'm honest yeah so i don't know you'll have to check the website or maybe drop them an email but there are other ones there, there are, are there are other other, other, other brands are available yeah. um i don't know if you can bring sunglasses in to say spec savers and say can you make me some lenses for these i don't know is that possible surely but anyway i don't sure. i don't think they do prescription lenses i'm pretty sure jublo do so if you wanted to get like a really decent pair of prescription lenses yeah. and a pair of glasses that are uh, a good for altitude, then I would say Jublo. Yeah. Um, but there are loads of other makes as well you can try. Awesome. Um, we had a message. Sophie Hurst said when the trip start again in the new year. Ooh. So January. January, yeah. 14th, I think, is the first trip. First trip to Killy? First yeah. trip back to Kilimanjaro. Um, yeah. Yeah, the next next Killy season, yeah, because it's been, we haven't had a trip to Killy for probably a month and a bit now um something like that it's uh yeah it's been been a long it's been a long awesome um but yeah the uh we can't wait to, to start running them again um helen dawson that uh, was it paula i've got the bunion boots but don't have bunions they are so comfy <laughs> <laughs> nice paula and they're, they're, those are the hand wags aren't they i remember you telling me about them absolutely brilliant definitely for anyone that's got any bunions i've never tried hand bunion wags. Boots. i've never used them i've never used them i know a lot of people who have used them yeah and i think with boots because technology has moved on so much now you know even like five years any boot over 100 pounds is, is, is going to be pretty decent yeah um you know there's obviously different features and some of them have better ankle protection some of them have better lacing some of them have better grip you know but majority of them you know are, are good you know yeah you got salawa you got handwag obviously you've got the big brands uh, you know you've got north face uh you've got mod um mammut 
which uh, I used to use Mammut's uh, Mammut Trovat. Ma uh, I think they're called Mountain Guide. Mm. Brilliant. Um, but they actually changed the the makeup of. It. I don't like the new ones. Yeah, because they, they they still do Trovats, don't they? They do Mammut Trovats, but, but they're not they, the same as the other they're ones. They're not the same style. No, no, I, I've never. They were good when they used them. Weren't they? I use them in all manner of conditions. Yeah. Like I'd say they're like what we would call bulletproof. Yeah. Uh, boots um, didn't get wet. Used to wear them with gaiters. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Laura Collins, Scarpa. Can't go wrong with good Could Scarpas. Be. Las Sportivas. You were talking well, about this. I posted something in, um, in the group earlier. Uh, yeah. Tissot. Uh, I've got a uh, Black, Black Friday yeah. sale. Oh, nice. And they've got some really good deals on. Yeah. There's actually um, good deals on sleeping bags. So okay. uh, the Rabber sent 700 and the 900. And the 900, I think, is 290 quid. And I think it's, I think it's, Price, two, it? I think it's 230 in the discount nice which is cheaper than what we paid for the 700 so if you're after a really warm yeah high-end sleeping bag that'd be a good place but they had loads of other stuff including scarper as well lots of scarper i like this it's good mate yeah this was awesome yeah it's only in scotland though isn't it i know when i go to like Aviemore, um inverness or yeah you inverness exactly you're able to able to go go through yeah um lower yeah there's some there's some brilliant laura there just better lower are great for narrow feet yeah because laura just remind me are you do you work in uh, an outdoor shop is that do you work in go outdoors cotswold sorry remind me just just so i remember does laura work in an outdoor shop she does i think so um unless i'm wrong why, why, haven't, we, why haven't we ever gone down to see laura <laughs> i know this is it laura i want to come and see you <laughs> uh let us know um right well, obviously this is out in the public but yeah if you want us to let us yeah, know work. Just, 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 please post your address um and everything in there and then we'll come yeah but no yeah let us know where you work if you want to if you don't want to say it on here just drop us an email Definitely. i mean you could you, or you could say no i'm not telling you that's fine too well she's always on at half 12. so clearly she's, she's got it organized she knows so we're going to narrow her down from that. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the bit of information we've newbury got newbury branch there we go newbury branch yeah there we go not, not too far hang on a minute i'm going to newbury soon really yeah go say hello to laura. i'm going to go and say hello to laura in newbury i bet you chat about boots well yeah 100 percent. yeah <laughs> i'll bring my collection <laughs> laura invitation um Brilliant. Lots of snow in the hills of Scotland. Ah, Paula, well jealous. Hoping to get up there in December before Christmas. Um, can't wait. Uh, we've had um, a lot of rain down here in South Wales, although it's a beautiful day today. Mm, mm. Lo loving it. It's yeah, nice and cold, fresh. We're semi a semi aquatic. <coughs> Excuse me. You're right there, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, struggling my asthma lately, so um, it's, it's getting better. It's getting better, Dave. Yeah. Um, Steve, tube car weekend. Do we leave a bag at Marrakesh or everything goes up the mountain? Uh, you can leave a bag in Barrakesh, 100%, or yeah. Imlil. Um, I take it to Imlil. Right? I take it to Imlil and leave it in yeah. Imlil, yeah. I did leave some stuff in Marrakesh, but I didn't have to. Yeah. Um, I left, uh, like, it was like a bag full of my, my headphones and everything like that that I left there. Yeah. But actually, I could have easily left it in Imlil. I leave it in Imlil because you get back to Imlil, like, a yeah. day before you get back to Marrakesh, so it's all nice and there for you. Um, and also, there's a lot less people in the in Imlil, so, yeah, I yeah. leave it there. Imlil is definitely the, the best because it's a great lodge. Um, oh, I really miss Imlil. I'm kind of jealous you guys are going up there. I'm going back. You, right? Jen, Zach, you're going to love it. I'm going to take some uh, pictures and videos. <laughs> I don't know, all down to Newbury Branch to take advantage of Laura's town. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, Laura, if you get an excess amount of traffic over the next week, now you know. Yeah, I would actually <laughs> speak to your boss and say that, you know, you should get commission now you know if, if like 50, this is it if 50 people turn up they all want to speak to laura to buy boots I, i'd say you know paint two pound per customer to be fair especially if they're if they're wearing an Evertrack buff or a t-shirt you know I, I you know hopefully some extra discount <laughs> no i'm not really kidding um no great uh, great it's nice to good obviously we've got some experts on uh which is all brilliant um right dave what's the just Got a few more questions because um, I know we had one. For... Yeah. So Joel Palmer said the Tonale was my preferred choice, but yeah. I haven't bought them yet. Do you think they'd be any good for snow, Dave? Um, I'll good be question. honest. Yeah. I don't know yet because I haven't tried them. So that's the honest answer. I will okay. be finding out soon because there will be some snow on Tupcal. I will be trekking in yeah. those on the way to the refuge. So I'll get a little bit of a taste for it. Honestly, when it comes to like they they are a lighter boot. So yeah. they're not designed for winter uh, winter hiking and things like that. So I would say they're probably not going to be as warm as like an insulated winter boot or a leather boot. If I was going winter mountaineering in Scotland or something, would I bring them? Yeah. Maybe, but I'd probably also have a backup with a warmer, like something like the um, Adamellos or the Utans or something like that. Nice. Um, but ask me in two weeks and I'll have more information on the uh, 
on the Tenales once I've uh, used them a bit. How are you feeling about Supercal? Ah, I'm really looking forward to it, I'll be honest. Um, yeah. it, in a big way. Yeah. Because when, in full transparency, in April when we went, yeah. I knew that I wasn't very well. And so I was apprehensive about the whole trip. Yeah, it was on your mind, right? It was on yeah, my yeah. mind. Um, I mean, I was I literally picked up the prescription of antibiotics on our way to Gatwick to yeah, catch the yeah, flight. Yeah, so yeah. I took my first few then. And I knew I wasn't firing on all cylinders. I knew I didn't feel that good. And yeah, I was always in the back of my mind, even in Marrakesh on day yeah. one when we're all sitting down having fun. In the back of my mind, there was always this worry. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm going there completely free of mind. You know, like how I felt when I go to EDC or Killy, I just think like I'm really looking forward to going back and actually yeah. enjoying it this time because I didn't really enjoy it last time. And because you were battling so much. Because I was battling so much. Yeah. This is what we were talking about. Um, I think it was it last week, you know, when you're battling yeah. so much because of either sickness or yeah. perhaps you haven't trained enough, you don't really get to joy. Enjoy it as much. Yeah, yeah. 100%. You know, you. Yeah. And in my mind, it's particularly on the way back to England, all I was thinking was, I just want off this effing mountain. You know, I just yeah. want, I just want, I don't care about it. I, I, I just want to leave. Um, and that's the wrong attitude to have. It's, it's hard, and, isn't it? But you're only human. And, you know, the other no, day, no, it's, yeah. it's, it's hard. You're not, you know, not, not, we're not robots. You feel yeah. emotions. We feel difficulties. But, it, you know, there's a, you, you've got to force your body to go certain. certain no, exactly. Right? And, and I knew that, I, you know, I, I turned around on the summit. Yeah. Fine. I wasn't feeling well. I was clear at, as day at that point that I had heat exhaustion and I was and I had an eight hour hike in the sun. So I knew I was going to be worse. And I just thought, you know what, if a helicopter landed now, I'd, I'd get in it. <laughs> but when I watched the video, when I got back, yeah, when um, Steve said, oh, I've got the finished video. Do you want to see it? And we're like, yeah, yeah. So we all sat down and watched it together before we put it out. You didn't know, did you? And I was like, oh. Look what I missed out on like yeah. deep down I love the mountains and I love the snow and I and I love the experience of it all yeah. and when I was well and watching it it was almost like I hadn't been and I just mm. wanted to go so now yeah I'm really 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 excited about going back and having an amazing time it's important though isn't it because you you, you realize that you've got to manage your health you know you've got to look after yourself oh, totally, and, yeah. you know you made the right decision for yourself you know we're talking about any challenge here it could even be um a hike in the UK I mean just yeah, full transparency. Last week, yeah, um, you had a big day. I went out on Friday hiking in Brecon Beacons, and the first time in my life I've ever turned back. And literally, it was ten minutes into a hike, is because of my my asthma. Um, I had a quite yeah, and then not not to go into too much, but I had quite a, um, a bad attack. Um, and yeah, it was it took me twenty minutes to kind of regain my my breath really. And yeah, the first time that's happened in a long time. Obviously, I lived, it, this is some underlying stuff I'm, I'm now sorting out. But the um, yeah, it was even for me. I was like, you've got to look after your health. Yeah. In my mind, I was like, oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Come on, and you know, I, I had my medication with me, and and all good. You know, like I think of all the different places I've been, Everest Base Camp, you know, Kilimanjaro, um, you know, you're off to Machu Picchu, um, you know, in Morocco, and I never had to use my pump like that, and yet I had to use it on a relatively what was a mild day in Brecon Beacons? It just goes to show it can happen anywhere. Um, you just got to manage it and you know manage your, your body. And mate, you're going to go out there this time. You're going to smash it. Oh yeah, I, I can't yeah. wait. It, yeah, and I really yeah. appreciate everyone there saying nice things. And um, yeah, it's encouraging. You're, you're but it. honestly, it's one of them where you know we're only human. I'm not an elite yeah. athlete. Um, you know, I'm not Kent and Cool. I'm not one of these guys that just goes out and gets success every <coughs> time I go somewhere. Yeah. Um, but in that respect, I am someone that's also done EDC four times. I've summited Killy. I've been around the UK, I've CMD, I've been out. I've done a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be honest, yeah, I did beat myself up. And I thought, hang on a minute, I'm someone that gets to the summit. Why am I turning back? And I thought, mm. you know what? That's BS. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. To me, it's all about it's about enjoyment and it's about just pushing myself. And you know what? On yeah. that trip, I did push myself. And I pushed myself way harder to get to that point on uh, Tupacal than I ever have on any other main yeah. and just because it wasn't the top doesn't mean jack to me <clears throat> um but this time it, i am going back and i want to see that view because that's it? the one thing like i haven't seen the view there won't be oh, one when i go there <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> you know, know like, this. this looks like Wales. yeah exactly no, it, mate, you'll love it you'll love it you have a great time um eric um great see eric from seattle he's in Kathmandu right now 
Well, you're talking about summits, summit of um, his daughter reached the summit of Island Peak. Uh, awesome, when was it? Awesome. It was probably about four days ago, five days ago. Um, but cheers, Eric. Hope you're enjoying Kathmandu. Um, yeah, and stay safe and, and safe journey home. I believe you're heading home tomorrow. Honestly, so, yeah. it really, do you know one thing I remind myself? A lot of people get to the summit. Well, you say a lot of people get to 6,000 meter peaks and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But when you consider that there's about 8 billion people on the planet, <laughs> it's not, yeah, and how yeah. many of that population ever reach 6,000 meters and stand on a summit, yeah. your daughter is part of an elite, tiny group, the tip yeah, of the spear. Exactly. You know, and uh, I always it's pretty think, amazing. I always think that's amazing. Like, there was one point, I, I, I always do this, just for the sheer joy of it, when I climbed Killy, yeah. I waited for a second, timed my moment right, and I stood like on a rock next to the sign. Yeah. And I was taller than everyone else at that point. I thought, highest man in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was pretty like, epic, isn't it? I love stuff like that. And yeah, yeah when, you know, when, uh, you know, when she reached uh, uh, the 6,000 meter peak and stuff like that. Yeah, amazing. Eric's right, though. You know, it's an adventure or a mission for me. It's an adventure. The summit is a bonus. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I kind of agree with that because I'm, you know, we're, we're all about the adventure um, and the journey, especially like in Nepal, because I think there's a lot of it that actually a lot of, the, the my, my my highlights a lot of my my favorite bits that i kind of remember and go back to were on the on the way to somewhere um you know and it is amazing when you get to where you want to get to but yeah the journey and the adventure is is definitely amazing um yeah eric and i hope you enjoyed your adventure mate i know mark as well mark we caught up with you yesterday mate you got a lot of a lot of positive energy coming you yeah with, i know look gonna... sophie though she's spending christmas at mount rainier oh nice that's oh, amazing so sure, eric point in the right direction <laughs> so oh, some traveling mind. I know. Yeah, she is yeah. the jet setter. I know. Yeah. I, where you get the time, mate. <laughs> but fair do as well. I done. know. I know. Nice to follow your memories. Um, but no, it's great. And yeah, it's good to see some positivity, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the pictures and the videos too. Especially with your um GoPro. Yeah, no, I am charged. Um because <laughs> I generally go there and my job on these trips is more like kind of I'm I, I I'm support, you know. What I mean I'm yeah. You know, I, I, I'm never the one, like, Dave, your job is to get this footage because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but one thing I can do is talk for Britain. So I thought I'm going to bring my really? GoPro. It, apparently, I thought, <laughs> I'm going to bring my GoPro and I'm going to just talk to the camera about what's going through my mind. And it's funny that I did say, like, obviously, I'm going to start when I get to Marrakesh. And then the thought occurred to me, what if I fail again? And I thought, well, no one will ever see it. I will never post the footage. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, you, you're going to do it. You're going to do You're going to be great. Yeah. Um, whilst we're talking about, um, because we, we today we've been talking about stocking fillers, um, all the different um, bits and pieces, we have got something coming up actually in a couple of weeks um, to do with a stocking filler. And I don't want to tell you what it is, but I thought I'd like to tease a little bit that we've got something coming out that um, you know you could give away to partner or you could give away to yourself. Um, but yeah, we're releasing that in December. Um, I know we've we've had a lot of different things happen over the last couple of months. A lot of kind of launches, a lot of different things that we've been doing, but we, we're really excited about this one as well. Um, so yeah, literally Laura, when you posted the eyes, keep an eye out for these little stocking, a little stocking filler that you can buy for yourself or buy for someone or buy for a friend. Maybe they'll never have a tracker. Um, and yeah, I, I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. So just a little tease um, for, um, yeah, in a couple of weeks time. Yeah, it'll when make a big difference. You're back from Tuka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Well, Dave, I know we've covered quite a bit. Any just while we're going to sort of finish off now, any questions? Because I know some of you going on trips, come back from trips. Um, I know people are on trips right now, which is amazing. It's always great to get people on the lives. Um, you know, ever trekkers on the lives who are on trips. It's just, I love it. I mean, for so long we, you know, especially you know in 2020, most of 2021, you know, we <laughs> we wanted that. Uh, you know, people on trips and joining the lives, and you know, I appreciate you putting your time aside. And watching them again and, and, and to everyone else as well we know that you know we, we hope this is valuable um we're talking about little bits and we always try and you know chat about different things um but we we hope it's still valuable and what we'll continue to do them yeah um yeah if, if people still find them useful but dave even oh, if they don't <laughs> even if they don't you're still we're, gonna do them dave, yeah right? well I, I don't know what else to talk to <laughs> is that what it is it, yeah that's it isn't it we we want to um we're not allowed to talk to each other in the office anymore right no, just on the live, just get shouted at. Yeah, know. yeah. Not by me. I don't shout. No, no. <laughs> well, you know, just, just you know, some people say like, Dave, they, okay, you you have to do this email. It's important, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it's fine. It's all about balance. But, but you know, I've got, we don't have to worry. We've got the Tuesday tuning. This is it. Um, 
Laura, Matterhorn trips in the future. Ooh, very exciting. Well, we, um, I say you may have seen the community. We're going to do a little post this afternoon, but we are uh, obviously crowdfunding at the moment, equity crowdfunding um, and capital risk. Capital risk. <laughs> You're on it with that. Yeah. That's good. Um, but yeah, part of that, um, the reason we're doing the equity crowdfunding is that we want to launch some of these trips and obviously launching trips do, you know, there's, there's time, there's energy, there's money, obviously, that, that costs to do these things. And um, yeah, we, we've certainly got um, a couple of new teams that we're kind of working to set up um, and, you know, to get these trips. And that area is not specifically the Matterhorn right now, but um, that area is something mm -hmm. that we're going to be massively developing. Um, oh, thanks, Laura. Awesome. Um, I know there's a few Evertrackers on here who are uh, investing in, in the future of Evertrack, which is amazing. Um, uh, you know, and it's been great to, to talk about people, uh, talk with people about the future of the business. Yeah. Um, you know, at the moment it is it's what we call privately live. Um, at the moment, you can see there. So basically, that is so you get the because we're not we're not public yet. Um, this is all private. We get a lot of private investment, and we're up to uh, seventy five percent at the moment. Um, which is great, and that's great to get that before we actually go public. A lot of Evertrack is already involved, but if you do want to to get that sort of private access, because we're, we're coming towards the top end of it now, and we're, we're hopeful to, to reach our target, um, definitely jump in on there. Uh, the the coming soon page, you'll jump onto the list. We can send you all the relevant details so you know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and any questions around it, do let us know, because that's what we're here for, you know. And um, This is the first time we've ever had outside investment. It's the first time we've ever opened up shares in the company to, to the public um, and to own a part of Evertrack, you know, we feel is we, we want the community to work closely with us as we develop and grow over the next, uh, you know, few years. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, we're, we're going places. We're not just going to the mountains. Probably going places. Um, so, yeah, really excited on that. So, yeah, um, definitely the links in there. Um, Dave, any kind of final thoughts for today for Stocking Fillers? I know we've, we've kind of covered it. Uh, this is a good. Wow, Dave, you want... Um, <laughs> long day i'm concussed remember that's true that's right you are yeah concussed. um i've been holding that in for a while and i was like you know what it's gonna it's because it's so warm in here i've got the fan on i'm dying sure it's not needed i was gonna say you you've got layers man. Um, got layers on today yeah i think that uh the thing that that, that list there i think we'll take a picture and post it in the group yeah, and if yeah. you want to have a look at it um or you can remember it mm, now um but yeah those are really cool i put i have every single one of those things on my list yeah um or at least i'm going to because the journal is new to me i just saw it the other day but um yeah i think this community and everything that you guys do and say yeah. and recommend i mean we can see the conversations that you guys have here and it's amazing and i think so any questions that you have post them to us but perhaps yeah. more importantly post them to the group as well um you know high altitude ever trackers and stuff like that yeah and if um or even if you're if you're part of the summit zone you can post it in there and, and ask yeah. us and get that advice but yeah whatever method you choose we're more than happy to discuss kit and stuff like that anytime yeah definitely talking about um kit steve's asked about get plastic crampons provided i have tube gal they're um well there, there are a few a few different types of uh, uh, crampons out there the elastic ones yeah i think, yeah, I think yeah. that's the rubber ones that kind of go the over the feet ones. yeah they're pretty much the ones you use for like the high C1. passes oh no for sorry for the um for tube gal, I was yeah thinking. yeah yeah for tube gal, you'll get um uh, I'll show you now. It's, still, it's the Grivel 12 spikes, aren't they? Yeah. So generally speaking, it's yeah. like these ones. So these are Grivel. But yeah. you see that sort of style with the cage on the front and the back? So you don't need the welt. Yeah. They're the ones. They're not designed for any like climbing or technical stuff. They're literally for just, um, just better grip, better grip yeah. in conditions like snow, ice, and stuff like that. So yeah, they're, they're the ones that you can get. I think they're about 100 quid on Cotswold Outdoors, I think. Yeah, they're not. I think they're a little bit cheaper. You, know, but you can Black Friday, them, yeah. Black Friday, or um, yeah, if uh, if obviously if you don't want to go out and buy them, the, the team will have them over there for you. Yeah, um, yeah, we've got some teams over there at the moment. We're looking forward to seeing some summit pictures. We've had a, a lot of pictures over the last sort of week. Um, people at base camp, people on Summit Island Peak. Yeah, it's just just fantastic to see so many ever trekkers out there in the world, and yeah, it's amazing. Um, plenty of adventures, plenty of memories. Hopefully, some of you are writing about it in your journals, and we'll get to hear about it when you get back um yeah including diane as well because she's in Namche. safe trip back down don't forget to go to the irish bar in Namche. Yeah. Diane. um right well we'll leave it there for, for this week i hope that's been useful in some ways um i see we'll be back next tuesday before dave goes off on his adventures yep um and yeah but anything you need just drop it in the group uh, any questions at all obviously if you're in the summit zone 
um, you know, drop some questions in there as well. Um, and then we'll we'll catch up with you guys next week. Awesome. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Bye.